morning, everyone, and welcome uh, to this. We are very honored and excited this morning. Uh, thank you so much to Councilwoman Gross, to all of the incredible housing justice advocates, uh, because <laughs> this would not be happening today if it wasn't for all of your tireless, dedicated work over the past decade or so to make this happen. Uh, so. so. Uh, so, uh, that being said, I would like to introduce Councilwoman Deb Rose. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, everyone. We are all very, very excited to be here today, if you can't tell. My name is Deborah Gross. I represent District 7 on City Council, um, and that includes Lawrenceville, Bloomfield, and Polish Hill, as many other neighborhoods. But I specifically mention those three neighborhoods because, as you know, uh, we have seen incredible price pressure over the last seven or eight years in those neighborhoods specifically. Neighborhoods where you used to be able to buy a house when you were just starting out. Your grandkids used to be able to buy the house near you in the neighborhood. You as a grandparent used to be able to stay in your neighborhood. Um, and no matter what kind of job you had, you could rent an apartment. And those days are gone. They're gone. And so for years, as the neighbors in those neighborhoods saw this happening, saw their friends leaving, saw their, their grandparents not be able to afford their own place, or sell out because the prices were so high, or saw grandkids that couldn't buy a house in the city and had to leave the city, they started organizing. And they kept organizing. And they kept organizing. And I'm going to get a little choked up because I've been to so many, <laughs> so many community meetings in these communities. And it's because of the people standing here. 100 people in the room at a time. And they all said, we need affordable housing. We're losing our friends, our neighbors, our families. We need affordable apartments. And we need affordable houses to buy. And with the amount of real estate, and if you haven't been to these neighborhoods, you don't know how many new big buildings have gone up, right? That's what's being built. So that's our one opportunity. If we want new units, we have to make the big developments include them in those developments. And that is what inclusionary zoning is. So what the legislation is, we ended up with passing in 2019 just for Lawrenceville, is 10% of the units in a building 20 units or over have to be at a rent that real people can actually afford. And similarly, even if you're building them for sale, you need to include 10% of the units at a price, a price that people can reasonably buy. Um, and even in the pandemic, when construction shut down across the country, 40 new units got built in Lawrenceville because those projects didn't even hiccup. They didn't pause for a second. They just kept going because that's the market there. Um, and so I'm going to hand it over in a second here to the mayor, but I just wanted to thank him especially for championing this effort. There were people who said it wouldn't work. And what we started in Lawrenceville in 2019, we've now expanded both to Bloomfield and Polish Hill. And other neighborhoods are writing to us are showing up, are calling us, and are coming to chambers and saying, we need this too. Uh, so with that, I'll hand it over to Mayor Ed Ganey. Thank you, Mayor. Good morning. Um, first, I want to say thank you to Councilwoman Deb Gross, um, your dedication and your commitment um, to inclusionary zoning. We need to celebrate you today. So before I go any further, I'd like to just say thank you publicly for all the hard work that you put up, that you put in for this. And we're gonna switch it up and do something a little bit different. I would like each one of these advocates to name and who, what organization that they belong to so that you can see just how far reaching this is. Wanna start over here with Lauren? Lauren Connolly, I'm with Lawrenceville Corporation. Christina Howell, I'm with Bloomfield Development Corporation. <laughs> Jennifer Raffanon Kennedy, Pittsburgh United. Bob Damewood Regional Housing Legal Services. 
Steve, bring in Lawrenceville United. Sam Spearing, Bloomfield Development Corporation. Helen Gerhardt, Lawrenceville United. Ed Neusser, City of Bridges Community Land Trust. Ruby Velasco, Polish Hill Civic Association. John Rhodes, Polish Hill Civic Association. Lizzie Anderson, also the Polish Hill Civic Association. And that's why this piece of legislation is so important. And when we sign it in, um, when we sign it today, why I believe in inclusionary zoning. I said that in every development that comes to our desk, affordability should be embedded into it. And we want to ensure that we live up to that. We want to stabilize our neighborhoods. We want to make sure our neighbors know neighbors. That's one thing affordability does. We want to make sure that it's tuned into going into the Pittsburgh public school system. We know that'll make for a better Pittsburgh public schools. And more importantly, it just makes for a better neighborhood. I grew up knowing my neighbors. I grew up in knowing who they were, where they lived at, who Miss Johnny was down the street. I knew all that. So today is a very historic day in this city, and I'm very thankful for Deb Gross and for each one of these advocates who fought for it. And we will continue to fight for it. So we're going to go over and sign it. And I want to thank everybody who participated, because this is what it means when we say creating a city for all. This is what we mean when we say a safe, thriving community in which everybody feels welcome. This is how you get there. Stabilize the housing market. Make sure our neighbors feel like their neighbors and not just distant strangers. And in doing so, we continue to build that city that we know we want to be. And that's a city for all. Thank you. Thank you.